question now. How awesome is it? I know as a kid, most Nebraskans, their dream is to represent the Huskers on the football field. So for you, how did it feel to fulfill that dream? Uh, it's been a long time uh, in the making. It's about two years since I've been committed. So that anticipation building up to signing day or, and the, the relief of, of finally getting there is, is nice. But um, just through the years of, of working out and doing different things and, and sacrificing a lot to get to this point, it definitely means a lot. And how awesome is it your recruiting class, one of the tops in the nation, in the top 30? Um, I guess, what's your expectation when you and the rest of your future freshmen are going to go in there and be part of the renaissance of Nebraska football? Uh, definitely set the standard to what it needs to be back to. Uh, it's been a great class with a bunch of great guys and uh, having a their character build with their their prowess and, and football definitely will will help get back to Nebraska where it, uh, where it was in the 90s. You're moving there pretty quick. Graduate high school, the bowling class, spring football. What are your individual goals? Uh, personal stuff you want to accomplish right away. I mean, as far as being a member of the football team. Yeah, a newcomer of the year award would be nice. Uh, but throughout through my high school career or my college career now. Um, all Big Ten, All American, uh, Bucket Sword finalist and, and winner, and uh, uh, being a team captain. Most importantly, I want to be remembered by my by my teammates in college, by a guy that uh, love love playing football and love being around those guys, and um, just somebody who who gave their all every single play and didn't make excuses. You got your game face on already. <laughs> I know we're like 20 days out, and I want to run through a brick wall, but <laughs> hey, take take everybody back to summer of 17 when you got that offer, but even before that, when you kind of hit the road with, I'm guessing, your, your mom and dad trying to yeah. get out to some of those camps and yeah. get seen. I know you were a walk-up at one of them. What, what was it like having to, you know, kind of go through that and put yourself on the map? I think St. Louis, Missouri was my was the arrivals combine that I went to, and it was the first day was a normal like NFL combine, 40, 5, 10, 5 stuff, and uh, the next day was the skill stuff to see if you're you know how how you move in football and different positions and things like that. Um, I didn't get invited back to the second day, but uh, I can't remember. I think his name was Doug Wallace. He he told me that they they accept walk-ups the next day about. I think we got up at four uh, to go see if we can stand in line and walk up, and we were in the third line. Uh, they put my name on the list, and, and uh, I got in that day, and I performed well during the camp. And um, then the rest of that summer, I think it was Wisconsin, Wyoming, Texas, and uh, Nebraska camp, a couple of camps there. And uh, that's, yeah, that summer was fun traveling around, going to see those awesome campuses and, and stadiums and playing the game that I love. But uh, yeah, that was a busy summer. It was, it was uh, a lot of camps. <laughs> Yeah, it's awesome. All my all my brothers are sitting up in front, and um, I wouldn't want to have a team any any other anybody else on that team besides these guys. And um, they mean the world to me, and they they made practice and games memorable. And they and I hanging out outside of out of football, and uh, just the memories you made throughout high school, will, I won't forget for a long time. And especially the coaches, uh, they're just different personalities and different ways of coaching is is all unique, and and it comes together beautifully. For, uh, for a football team and uh, I can't really thank those guys enough and thank my teammates enough for uh, being being uh, being around me. When the coaching change happened, I mean, like, in between Mike leaving and then announcing Scott, was, was it always Nebraska? Was there a, a, not a doubt in between? Uh, no, this, I always wanted to be a Husker and I knew that. Um, I've never been through a coaching change and especially a coaching change at that level. so. Uh, I just wanted to know what I needed to do as a, a recruiter to commit during that time. And um, I, I can't remember what the, the span was of, of hiring a coach for however long that was. Um, as soon as Frost got hired, I didn't expect any contact for months because they had uh, that, the Peach Bowl the coach and they had their families move and a bunch of other adult stuff I don't even want to worry about. <laughs> but um, uh, they finally contacted me. I think I was in the middle of a lift and uh, Frost and Coach Chen's the defensive coordinator and, and uh, Coach Rude were all in a room together, and they group called me and uh, definitely settled, settled a lot of thoughts down and, and made me feel pretty good uh, about about going to play for them. And um, it's kind of weird juju stuff. My mom, before I was even like recruited as a 
play or anything. My mom uh, told me, what, what, what was it, like fifth grade or something like Eighth that? Eighth grade. Eighth grade, she told me that I was going to play for Scott Frost, so it's kind of be weird stuff there. So, But, uh, no, uh, but yeah, it was awesome talking to those guys. Uh, settled a lot of things down, and uh, I'm glad I'm in the spot I am right now. What are your overall thoughts on the class coming in this year? Great guys, all of them. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of the interviews, they mentioned the, the group text or the group chat we have. Uh, we talk all the time, not just about football, about about each other and about ourselves. Um, same with the coaching staff and same with my teammates now. We all have different personalities and we come from different places and uh, it all gels beautifully into a football team. That's that's what that's what's great about football and um, that's what's great about Nebraska. You get guys like me from the Midwest, but you also get guys from New Jersey and Tennessee, Texas and Arizona, and all those all those different guys coming in with different backgrounds and uh, we all we all come together as a family and you know, maybe play a football game or two. How crazy was it this fall playing on Friday nights and then figuring out logistics and travel with the Lincoln to be there as many Saturdays as you were there? What, what was kind of just the itinerary like for, for weekends this fall? Yeah, uh, I tried to make it to every home game I could. Uh, some we couldn't make it to because there was 11 o'clock kickoff and it was just the flights weren't didn't line up properly. But the ones we couldn't make it to, uh, uh, we I didn't really sleep after games. I I watched film of the game until like two in the morning. And our flight I think we got up at four fifteen. Um, so I got up you know two hours of sleep. Got up went on went to Scotts Bluff. Flew to Denver. Denver to <coughs> Omaha. Ran into car. Drove to Lincoln and got there for the game. Um, spend spend a day or two there and fly back and be on school on Monday. And go back to practice. Kind of played as a down defensive end and in the ground here. Sounds like you might be more of a outside backer. Yeah. Talk a little bit about um, the differences between the two and things you kind of have to get up to speed on and get better at to be the best you can. Uh, just coverage is zone of man. Uh, understanding the passing game a little bit more. Um, I won't be doing that as much as a, as a will backer on the left. Um, but I think they'll use me a lot as a pass rusher and just a. a, a uh, run stuffer, just uh, Sam Backer on the right side, be playing. If you if you watch Luke Gifford, that's the position I'm playing. Coach Messick, you talked about Bruce Garrett, who's kind of landed the last four years. Well, the first thing with Garrett is his uh, character is, is top notch. Um, the thing I always sticks out to me is uh, his practice habits. He's the first guy in line, uh, first guy to help everyone, and uh, when you've got that type of uh, character with the ability level he has, it, it makes for a special football player. Here, go back to the state championship game. Can you talk about how special it was to kind of get a glimpse into the future in the next few years? Yeah, uh, some of the big plays that my teammates made and some of the big plays I made, it felt like there was 90,000 in that stadium. And um, I know it's going to be a lot different when, when there actually is 90,000 in that stadium yelling. Uh, but it was. It, it's, it was not a fantasy, but it was just like a dream coming true in that moment. Um, it was just pure joy and jubilation when, when we would make plays or would go out on the field and just being on the field just felt good. And uh, it, was, it was an awesome experience and I, and I can't wait to have more of them. I am. <laughs> I am, yeah, it was, it was pretty funny because when they did that in-home visit, Frost and all those, all the coaches came out. They go, well, you're this far, as, might as well keep it. And I go, yeah. And Coach Root texts me, he goes, you're going to keep the mole as long as I'm there, and he's going to be there for a long time. So <laughs> we're going to have to kind of plan when to trim it and stuff. But uh, <laughs> no, I was, my plan is to keep it growing until the spring game and just kind of decide after that because summer gets hot and I don't want a giant mane on my head. But yeah, it's coming with me. It's not going to be blonde, though, which is good. <laughs> How about the on the Husker legacy within the family? How important is that? How special is that for you? With my dad wrestling there? Um, he's kind of the, the one that started it all. Um, <laughs> just for me personally, looking up to him as, as a son and as a mentor. Um, but he has uh, wrestling warm-ups that I put in my room. Um, and just things he's done for me in my life uh it definitely meant a lot and uh <laughs> i can't uh can't think of enough for what he said <laughs> and uh yeah he's been uh he's been a great father and i hope to make him proud in the future <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Thank you.